welcome to Wayne's Cave and while the weather is absolutely diabolical let's do a quick video on back focus um, this is the back end of my Esprit 120 and as we can see is normal camera guide camera uh, this is just the focus uh, sorry the focus draw tube extender adapter that uh, comes as standard with the Esprit 120 and the uh, actual focus draw itself okay um, so as I may have mentioned in a previous video our new tactic is with this lovely triplet refractor is to go colour and speed. Now what do I mean? Well we go in colour with this of which there will be more details coming up very soon in another video and and speed is from speeding up our F ratio this is currently F7 at 840 millimetres and we are going to speed it up with this beautiful Apex Starazona Apex ED 0.65 reducer, reducer flattener um, and I'll just go through for those who um, uh, are also um, contemplating using flatteners or reducers this could be useful so I'm going to tear down everything and we're going to go through exactly how I'm going to build the imaging train to get the right back focus for this guy and how it's all put together I'll be back in a mo okay so guys with the apex reducer we're first going to install the focus draw extension tube that comes with well you have to order as an extra with the apex reducer for the Esprit 120 and the Esprit 150 with the Esprit 80s and Esprit 100 the apex reducer just fits inside the focus draw as standard and um, you know it's compatible with the telescope tube as is but the 120s and 150s we have to add this so what i didn't mention was yeah our, our aim was to go color and with speed so with the 6.5 reducer obviously that brings f7 down to f4.55 uh which is you know a good old um good old jump in speed and with the sensitive um, color sensor to pair that up I'm sort of looking forward to um, you know hopefully being able to finish more projects that get started um, also with the apex reducer is a few shims one of like the hairs breath thickness up to I think you know a, mil a couple of there's a two there that are about a millimeter thickness so for really fine tuning um, and then this is a uh, focus draw adapter that joins the um, apex reducer to the focus draw extender so there's that I'll um, get the reducer out so here's the reducer with its caps on. Uh, marvellous. So there we have the uh, reducer with the uh, focus draw adapter screwed on to the end. And that then just slides into that whole focus draw now. So this is the point of which the 
from this point here we need our back focus to our camera sensor and the requirements for the apex reducer on the on the Esprit 120 is 56 millimeters from here yeah because that's where the lens starts from that the base of this flange so um, starting from the camera camera we have in there 17 and a half millimeters already to the front edge um, and with the uh, this is the camera adapter that goes onto the front of the camera with my M48 that comes with the camera M48 adapter so inside this there's a thin slice here to allow uh, for M48 Uh, thread so that extra that extra with the adapter camera adapter and the m48 adapter on there is uh, an extra 12 12 millimeters and uh, by the way guys these things are always really handy these calipers look so you could sort of measure can measure your stuff obviously when it's off you can literally touch it ed edge to edge and get your exact millimeter they're only sort of five off amazon well worth it to be as accurate as you can so with the with the camera adapter and the camera that's my maths is right is um 29 and a half millimeters out of the 56 we need so the off-axis guider is also another nine millimeters thick. Uh, if I could, um, and then I have just a couple of spacers: a ten mil and a seven and a half mil spacer screwed together here to give me an extra seventeen and a half. To give me a grand total of 56 so we can add them up so we can start with uh, oh before I go on the I've managed to screw in uh, this is an Optolong L Pro filter screwed into my the back of the camera adapter I'm going to try To start with one spacer, the 10 mil spacer, uh, sorry, seven and a half mil spacer. Ah, oh, there we go. That's right. Right. So that was the seven and a half mil spacer. Off-axis guider. That's a, not the right way around at the moment. Well, makes no difference. Um, here's the off-axis guider, like adapter that to join the camera, then to the off-axis guider. Okay, and there, there's gaps in there because you've got three different positions. If if you really needed to that goes into the off-axis guider like like this and tightens up so i need a bit of extra space so i'm gonna now instead of put the camera onto him use this 10 mil spacer all had 
adds up to our 56 millimeter. So we can bomb him on there. Lovely jubbly, don't want to over tighten him. So we've got our 12.5 camera plus 12 for the actual camera adapter to M48 thread. We've got our 10 mil spacer, 9 mil off axis guider, a 7.5 mil spacer, up to the focal plane, if that's what you call it, of the um, reducer which starts at the flange at right at the back of this adapter basically so yeah all being well if, if we could roughly this is by all no means a good uh but it a good measure but it doesn't have to make you feel better when you know roughly where things are there you go look i mean we're not far off We want to be at 56, so we're looking, if anything, because I'm, you've got tolerances with these reducers, usually of a millimetre, but the next best uh, thing I can do from this point, before I start adding little, little shims like this into there, um, to pad out the flange that's if I need extra distance I can actually just take some test shots of any stars um, and what comes with the this little leaflet here look if I show you it's quite handy I can get it can you see back focus too short normal back focus compared to back focus too long quite handy little this sort of star diagram of what the the stars in the corners of your frame tend to look like if your back focus is a bit short they're kind of elongated um, and then the, we've all seen I'm sure these funny sort of stars that are sort of got wings that triangular shape is actually more predominantly like a v-shaped star so it, that's quite handy to you know gauge whether we just need to add an extra thin you know shim to increase that back focus distance or or maybe even you know hopefully it's not the other way because obviously that's a bit more difficult taking taking it off when you know you you can't really take off small distances to this configuration um it'd be a case of swapping say that's seven and a half mil for say uh, a six and a half mil hopefully we get our nice f4 imaging train with the color cmos there working spot on <laughs> i can't wait anyway guys now we're in these winter constellations then there is all sorts to 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 get opportunity to photograph so wish me luck I'm gonna see if I can get all this all, all just lined up to how I, I want it to uh, with the actual telescope tube and uh, we're away hope you found it useful guys um, hope to speak to you guys soon and, and show you um, just what, what your sort of results we can get with this configuration and I wish you guys all the best of luck and hope you all keep sane and safe and and above all else plenty of clear nights okay speak to you soon <laughs>